Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. I'm here doing some more work on my extra storage. I decided to add to it because I saw that Rachel Ray and a few other people how they were doing theirs and I thought about doing it that way to begin with but I wanted to try these little plastic, you know, baseball card holders first, but they're really slippery, so um, I decided to use these cards, and I'll show you what I'm doing with them. So, So I have 905 and I have excess. These are the ones that I have excess of. So I am putting my excess in the baggie, um, in the baseball plastic. And then I'm going on the back of my card and I'm gonna put a staple in the middle of the bag. I make sure that my plastic baggie stays behind and then I staple it and then I file it away. Now if I end up with excess, um, like say I have a lot, which I'm probably going to have a lot of like, you know, three tons and stuff like that, I think what I'm going to do is just add another card in there like this. But I'm going to cut off this top part so this just sits behind it with another one of these baseball um, card things in the back. And that way I can just pull out the excess amount if I need to. So I'm just, I'm just trying to get my um, stash figured out because when I was working on one of my diamond paintings I ran out of a color and I had to search through like this big old bag of of uh, excess diamonds that I have and so I was like having a hard time finding it finding the excess that I, of the color that I needed because I, um, I did order um, way back when, when I first started, I did order one of every color, so I should have about two or three hundred of each color, unless I've used it. Uh, so some of them don't have those in them. But I don't combine the baggies together because they are all different colors. Like, you can see there's a color difference in the dye between these and these. So I don't do that because I don't want I don't want to have to sort through and figure out which ones are the correct color. Um, this way I can look at the bag and compare it to the ones that I'm using in the painting and say, okay, if it looks like this, then that's fine. If it doesn't look like any of them, then you know, I get worried because I don't want the diamond painting to look, you know, super different. Um, so, I'm just doing a little, um, a little update, um, you, you know, regarding whatever, whatever's going on. And so, um, my... sister came over the other day and we were playing a trivia game and we live in a um, in a smoke free apartment complex it's supposed to be smoke free but she walks up to my door and she's like oh my god your apartment reeks of marijuana and I'm like well I know I can smell it in the bathroom area because that's usually where I smell it, is in the bathroom. Um, but 
the other day when we came home um, over the 4th of July weekend. On 4th of July we came home. And we get up to our apartment and I see that there are a bunch of cigarette butts thrown all over the ground down by our patio, which I'm thinking must have come from upstairs because their patio's right there. They were outside barbecuing and stuff with with people and so I'm guessing that they threw their cigarette butts down onto our porch which you know is ridiculous and then having to deal with the marijuana smell gives me a headache but um I I mean I'm trying not to be too like too much of a complainer, you know, but it seems a little bit ridiculous that they still haven't done anything about the dog. Um, I don't know what else to do. I might have to call, like, the city or something and be like, hey, you know, is there anything you can do? Because my landlord's obviously not going to do anything about it. Um, every time I call down to the office, they tell me, you know, this or that. Um, so, we hadn't noticed... When I called yesterday, we hadn't noticed the, um, the dog peeing over the balcony, but, um, at least not at that time, but then when I called, I was like, you know, the kid is coming downstairs and scrubbing our patio, and it looks like it's been peed on. It's all yellow, like a pool of yellow, dried up yellow pee, and so... You know, I'm thinking, like, um, you, there, something's got to be done. And so, she said that she wants me to send more picture evidence, which I'm, like, thinking, like, this is ridiculous because I've already sent you guys a ton of picture evidence. Like, you guys should not even need any more. But I can send more because I have more. But, um, so then, then we're sitting here and I hear dog peeing coming down and it they peed all over the banister of our porch again so like you can see you can see the yellow pee stains and whatnot and so i'm like at this point i'm like not gonna have them power wash again until they can get it figured out because this is kind of ridiculous so um I, I don't, I honestly don't know what else to do. I'm getting to be at my wit's end. Like, they said that the dogs are not on their lease, so then what's the problem? What is the problem? I read your, I read your guys' pet addendum, and it says that you're required or, or be fined. So what is the problem? Tell them not to put their dogs out on the porch. Tell them to walk their dogs. They obviously don't walk them enough. So. Then. Um, on top of that. We've been having. Spider issues. Like it's, I guess it's spider season. But these spiders are. Freaking huge. Now. I don't like spiders. I hate spiders with a passion. So, um, the other night we were sitting here, my husband was, my husband was sitting in, um, on the couch and a spider, we think the spider came in through the front door, like underneath or something. That's my guess. Cause this thing, I mean, this thing was huge. I was like, that thing could not have been living in here. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, I really don't know because we've been finding spiders, like, in our bathroom area, like, a lot. So, and I'm not talking small spiders at all, like, by any stretch of the means. They're pretty freaking big. They're, like, the size of, like, a quarter or a half dollar. 
And so I'm like, where the heck are these spiders coming from? So I'm, you know, calling the office and I'm like, y'all need to come in and spray for some spiders. And as you guys know, I, I think I mentioned that we were having moth issues. We haven't seen a moth in a few days, but, but like, I, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm like really fed up with the whole bug situation and whatnot. Um, I, you know, I expect some spiders. I do. I, I mean, because no matter where you go, I feel like spiders are everywhere. But I don't like the spiders here because if it's the spider that I think it is, that spider can grow up to it like the size of the palm of your hand. <laughs> I think it's a um like a fishing spider, I think. But the thing is, the freaking thing is huge and gross and yucky and like I said, I don't do spiders. I I um so my husband was um so that was the first the first really huge spider we saw. I mean we saw another huge a couple of huge spiders in the bathroom area. Um but um that one we thought came in through the door. We don't know for sure if it did or didn't, but um so we um so we So we. Let me see if I can find. So I'm missing some of my baseball card holders with the numbers on them for some reason, and I don't know why. But. sitting on the floor last night Shh, just a minute okay so my husband was sitting on the floor last night and a freaking huge spider comes crawling at him while he's sitting on the floor talking to me uh, he's sitting next to the couch I don't remember what he was doing he was doing something on the floor and he like backed away and the spider kept coming at him and he's like what the heck why is it why is this spider like coming after me and like he ended up finding like one of my kids books or something near him and he ended up smashing it like three times before the freaking thing died um and he's like oh my god it like tried to eat my face <laughs> like it tried to attack me it would not stop coming at him so he was like really freaked out about it and I don't blame him. I don't, like I said, I don't do spiders, so I do not blame him at all for that. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so, I took a break from my diamond painting 60 by 60, so I figured I would just record a little bit while my husband's out getting his hair cut. Um, and the kids, they, they're usually more quiet when he's not here, so it's a little bit, a little bit easier, but, um, yeah, and then, so last night, after he killed the big spider, um, that chased after him, I went to go to the bathroom, um, uh, before I went to bed, and there was a, another huge spider, and I'm like, really? Like, 
I cannot win. So then, of course, you know, at that point, I'm like, I can't even go to bed now because I'm, like, super hyper, like, aware of anything that feels like it's crawling on me <laughs> because I don't like spiders. And I don't, no, no matter where I'm at or what I'm doing, bugs seem to find me. And they like to crawl on me and freak me out and, you know, scare me. And so, you know, it's, bugs are notorious for torturing me. So, what are you doing? Better, be not, better not be getting into stuff, boy. Oh. So, yeah, I don't. I don't do bugs at all. And Aiden, take that in the room. Take it to your room. Take it to your room. Play. What's he Bubba doing? Uh, sorry, he got to bop it out, I guess. Um. So. I just, you know, I don't, I don't know, um, why bugs want to find my, find me and torture me, but I'm like, we could live in harmony if you just stay the heck away from me, and, but like, I feel like if I let, you, if I let it live, then it will, like, um, it will find me and it will crawl on me and it will torture me, so... I can't let it live in my house. Not that I want to, anyway. You know, like, those spiders have, like, a million babies. So, I don't know. I just, I, it's frustrating. Pretty frustrating. And I'm, like, realizing you guys probably can't see everything I'm doing. Which I apologize. But, I mean, we're just chit-chatting anyway. And I kind of gave you a... An idea of what I was doing anyway so I'm I'll be glad when I'm done with this project because it has um, definitely it's definitely a big project which is why I did it in segments because if you guys remember in the last video I showed you where I was working on my storage I cut up all of these baseball um, cards from my binder so, um, so now I'm just, I was trying to avoid doing the, like I said, trying to avoid doing the card thing, but these things, if you try to pick up like multiple of these, they were really slippery at one time and I'm having to move them from box to box once I started filling them up. So you can like get a good handful like that and it'll be fine but they're really slippery so um they're really hard to stack up together and um like i said i had to keep moving them around because i actually have filled up both boxes now with and this just has my squares in them so far i haven't even put my rounds in there but i don't have a lot a lot in rounds um because i mostly dealing squares so a lot of a lot of square excess so so I probably what I'll probably do also is I'll probably have a secondary card for a round um, yeah I'll probably do a secondary round let's see 932 do I have any of those up there 9, 32, 7, 38, I don't see a 32, so, and let me tell you, it's much easier to just look at the number that I need and pull the whole card out, definitely, definitely much easier. And I don't know who created this idea first. I know that I just saw um, the video Rachel Ray doing the cards. Um, and I think she got it from uh, another 
another YouTube creator. So, I don't know who, I, so it's hard for me to credit who actually started this this way, but whoever it was, kudos to you guys, because it's a great way to, 934, I forgot to put those in there. Um, it's a, a great way to sort the diamonds. I mean, I don't know. I, um, the reason I'm stapling this to the back is because I didn't want a bunch of baggies falling down underneath. I wanted to keep stuff, like, keep the stuff from going underneath each other. Because these little baseball card, um, things, they don't, if, if one falls down, it'll just go right over the top of it. Alright, so I'm just waiting for, just waiting for the light to come back on. No, I don't need it now. I got it. What? I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I did not have my phone plugged in, so... So, I had to get my charger, but he didn't miss much and doing the same thing as I've been, so. This project is taking me a while to do. Um, I've been working on it now. For two and a half days, something like that. Because um, when I started, I, I had a hundred of these cards. So I started them to see how... I did a couple of them to see how I liked it. To, to see if it was um, a process that I wanted to keep or do. Um, because I originally was just going to cut a sliver off and put it inside here so that I had like um I think the bag's gonna be too big. There's a lot a lot of excess 939s. I like the secondary 310 here. So let me see if this works. Put in by itself. See, that's what I was saying, like, this, these ones might have too many in them, so I might need to have another bag for them, because I, I don't want them to fall underneath, so I don't want to just throw these bags in between the, the card separators, because I don't want them falling underneath the pouch, so... So, I'm definitely, for this one, I'm definitely going to need, like, a secondary bag, I think, or a baseball card holder for this one. Sheesh, it's so big. But, um, or I could just tone down some of the bag. But right now, my Walmart is only carrying, like, the larger bags that I have to fold in half to put in to these. Instead of the the normal size ones that I get, which are you know, you know, like a regular size baggie. Shh. So I'm not able to find the little tiny baggies that I usually use. So I'm just using what I got because I never seem to have any supply in. I suppose I could order them off of eBay or something, not eBay, Amazon or um, Walmart.com, I don't know, but I don't really like, I don't really like um, shopping online that much um, right now. I'm kind of one of those 
people that want instant gratification, so I want to be able to bring home what I'm working on. I like what I need, what I'm doing, so, um, because shipping is taking forever. Like, I bought, um, so I bought the stretcher bars for Ocean Wave and for the castle, and, okay, I need to take this bag out. So I took them out, uh, no, I did not take them out, I bought them. <laughs> And I, um, I checked the shipping and they don't say anything. It just says that, um, a label was created and the company is not answering me. That's one of my biggest pet peeves about some of the, the about ordering off of AliExpress is some of these companies just ignore you and it's not right at all. Like. You should not be ignoring me. I'm a customer. If you like, if you like your business, you should be answering your customers. And I would think that that would go no matter where you are in the world. Like, I don't think it should matter because they're in China versus they're in the United States. Like, no matter what, I think that the customer is important because if you don't have any customers buying your products then you go out of business that's how that works so why they don't respond back and let me know where if they ship something or haven't shipped something or what you know it's kind of crazy to me but <sighs> I guess I must have skipped this one. I'm going to put this stuff away. I kind of run out of room for some of these. Because some of these have a lot more to them. Hey, what are you ripping up? Some of them have a lot more to them than... sure that the number on the baseball card matches the number on the card because I'm, I'm moving them around like I said they're slippery and sliding everywhere and so they may have slipped out of their normal spot so I kind of got to keep an eye on that as well which is why I like this idea of doing them a lot better than just um, 40 I got plenty of that. <laughs> put in here. It's actually easier to put it in before you put it on the card, but you know, it's gonna be stapled like that, so you gotta get used to it anyway. So Okay. So now nine fifty. Like I said, some of these baseball card covers are missing, so I'm going to have to make new ones. But I should have plenty because I had more baseball card holders than I than what was in the binder, but it kind of got scattered. My husband, when, they, when we moved, it was in my in my table but he like kept dropping things everywhere and so I forgot to put 950 in there and that's the only negative thing is 
my the sides of my finger the skins of my fingers are getting kind of chewed up by the index cards like paper cuts so that kind of sucks a little bit but you know in the future i won't have to stick my whole hand in there to pull these out so but when i had the when i had the binder the binder was like it was a big binder but it was like oh it was like closing like this and it's supposed to close like this so it was way too much you know putting them in there so Mm, 951. 951. So, my son is singing a song over and over and over again. It's so cute. <laughs> I was playing it for him, but I had to turn it off because I was starting to record, so. I cannot have copyright dings on my channel, so. 954, what does that one say? 959, 964, 963. 956, 958, 966, 977, 969. I don't see any of these on the table, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.